Hey guys, how you doing? So, question that's been put to me all the time. People worried about the job prospects for web development and web design going forward. So, I decided to go to the source, at least in the USA, and that's the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics here, right here. U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. If you don't know, this is the U.S. government's, federal U.S. government's, Bureau where they put together all kinds of stats. So they got all their top economists, nerds looking at all the data, and uh, this is what they suspect. So let me just jump into a few things. Quick facts web developers and digital designers. So 2022 medium pay was 80730 a year or $38.81 per hour. If you compare that, so again, medium wage, it's right in the middle. 80,000 bucks a year. Now, if you look at the medium male salary in 2022, just in jobs in general, it's 52,000. So it's pretty clear that being a web designer and developer, you're going to be doing better. Well, web developer, digital designer, then uh, you're going to be doing significantly better than the average person in the U.S., Typical level entry education, bachelor's degree, that's actually changing quite a bit now. As I pointed out in other articles, over 60% now of companies in the U.S. don't require a bachelor's degree. This is changing. But if they do, the way to get around it, as I've been talking about for a long time, the way of getting around the need for a degree is to develop some job experience. How do you develop job experience? You freelance. You do a few freelance jobs. The key thing, and I keep saying this over and over again, the key thing that employers are looking for in terms of developers is some demonstrable skill set that you can, uh, well, something that you can demonstrate, something if you've done for real. That's why the uh, freelancer hack is the way to go. Even if your goal is not to become a freelancer, just doing a few little freelance gigs will give you a lot of skill and experience that you can't get from any school and that's gonna open up a lot of doors for you. Anyway, let's go back to it. So job outlook 2022 through 2032. So this is their projections. They say it's 16%, much faster than average. Web developers create and maintain websites. Digital designers develop, create, and test websites or interface layout functions and navigation for usability. How to become a web developer or digital designer. Education requirements for web developers and digital designers vary ranging from high school diploma to bachelor's degree. Pay, the median annual wage for web and digital interface designers was 83,000 and 240. The median annual wage for web developers was 78,000. This is on May, 2022. Job outlook, this is the key. Overall employment for web developers and digital, digital designers is projected to grow 16% from 2022 to 2032. Much, let me emphasize this, much faster than the average for all occupations. Much faster. About 19,000 openings for web developers and digital designers are projected each year, on average, over the decade. Many of those openings are expected to result from the need to replace workers who transfer to different occupa occupations or exit the labor force. So there you go. That's in a nutshell. Why do I bring up the government, the Federal Bureau of, uh, what's it called? The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Well, because it's the go-to source in the U.S. And you can see uh, from their research, job prospectors are good. The job prospects are good. So people who are out there telling you, oh, it's the end for developers. I don't know. Uh, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics gathers their data from many different sources and they, they do their math and they figure out what the reality is. That is the reality. Yes, people are being fired now from some of the major companies, uh, whether it be Google, Facebook, or uh, you know, Microsoft. But most of those jobs are middle-level management jobs. They're not coding jobs. The, the vast majority, I saw some other data showing that. Yes, yeah, some coders are getting fired, but most of them pick up new work pretty quickly. So it is a challenge for beginners. It always has been to get your first job. This is true, uh, except during boom cycles. So how do you get around that? 
well, you master your fundamentals, you go out and you do two to three small free freelance projects, and you'll be in a good position. That's it. I hope that's useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. If you have any questions or comments about this video or anything else, put them in the comments below, and we shall talk very soon. Bye-bye.